Well, here you are in the studio. Uh, uh, what do you fancy doing next? Uh, there's another little song. This one's called Conversational Tennis.
conversational tunes. Wow. When you first got together, I mean, what tunes did you go for? Like Everly Brothers tunes? Or no, they were all brainchild original stuff. That, that and then Frankie, we, we he basically been since he's been with me, we just learnt a load of stuff by gigging it. We yeah. never rehearsed it. Yeah, sometimes you're like, uh, Frank, have you heard that song on the radio, you know, the new singles from uh, whatever? I said, like, um, no, sorry. So it's like, okay, let's play it. And that's <laughs> what we do at gigs, you know, no practice, just uh, look into each other, playing, uh, just, you know, look at his neck, his fingers, and the guitar, and I fall. Who taught you to play the guitar, Frankie? Oh, you just saw uh, my. Not my violin, was it? No, I used to spend eight or nine hours a day uh, listening to the Beatles, of course, and strumming my guitar. You'd actually practice for nine hours a day? Yeah, 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 every day. Wow. Yeah. From the age of 14, and, and how much do you practice now? Or, uh, a little bit less, uh, but we gig a lot, so yeah. it's like practicing, you know, we, we play. Uh, Quite a lot, and yeah, yeah, two yeah. hours and a half sometimes. Yeah. 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 Do, do you play finger style or with a plectrum? Yeah, I do. We're, we're both, we're either way. Oh, sometimes I mix plectrum and fingers, and depends. So I don't even look at it, or I don't think about it, it's all as a magic, you know. Who, who did you look to? Who inspired you in the beginning that you thought, oh, wow, he's a great guitarist, and looked at their technique? Oh, uh, there are so many, but. Um, Apart from guitar technique, you know, when I was studying uh, pure, you know, guitar theory, uh, of course I have been, I went through so many, like Steve Vai, Paul Gibbs, and all of these guitar heroes and stuff. But uh, basically, you know, George Harrison himself was a great guitar player. He wrote some, some, you know, amazing solos. So I think all I've learned about music, some writing and guitar playing, comes from the Beatles. Stuff. You rated George Harrison sort of quite highly then? Oh yeah, he was a big guitar and not only, you know, he's played many instruments, he, he picked up so many influences. <laughs> he played the sitar, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, sitar and uh, I think also banjo, some little small instruments, I didn't, didn't even know the names, but he, you know, he went to uh, India or he, when he used to travel, I think. That's right, he, he actually played with Ravi Shankar. Yeah. And I think he he inspired him to play the sitar, which looks a very difficult instrument to play. Yeah, I mean, it's not. But the way he plays, you know, he, um, he it's got uh, something special. I don't know his style. Soul, yeah. soul. 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 Yeah, soul. Exactly. That's what soul. it is. It's soul. Is yeah. when people like that play, they, you, you, they they put things into it they, 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 that nobody else does. You, that's what I was saying. You can be as technical as you like, but that doesn't matter. It's about delivering what you've got.